Good day everyone, welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in disaster readiness and rest reduction, which is all about lesson 5, different volcano hazard maps. So this will be the third quarter topic and module number 5. For the objectives of this lesson is interpreting volcano hazards zonation map. To prevent future disasters, or at least to reduce their extent, a series of measures must be taken before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. The preparation of hazard maps helps to determine whether a volcano is potentially hazardous and how to assess the rest. Hazard maps show the pathways of eruption products to be expected such as lava flows or pyroclastic flows for various eruption intensities. Monitoring of volcanoes by satellites has to increase in order to detect possible changes, for example the temperature or the SO2 emission. For potentially dangerous volcanic regions, emergency plans must be worked out, particularly evacuation plans for the population in case of immediate danger. Disaster prevention exercises, as already carried out in Japan, are useful as well. A volcanic eruption cannot practically be influenced by men. There are, however, limited possibilities in controlling several of its effects, such as barriers against lava flows or cooling lava with seawater. Long-term regional planning can significantly reduce the hazard potential. Disaster reduction measures can contribute to mitigate the impact of the volcanic eruptions. Fatalities and economic losses can be reduced if associated with well-monitoring system, including early warnings and land use planning. A culture of prevention is introduced within all levels of the society. The following are the things to do before, during, and after a disaster according to the Disaster Rest Reduction Resource Manual. What to do before a volcanic eruption? The first one is to close the windows and doors to reduce entry of ash if heavy ash fall is expected to hit the community. The second one is to bring animals and livestock into close shelters. The third one is to develop evacuation plans and conduct evacuation drills. Another preparation before a volcanic eruption is to avoid low places or areas vulnerable to rock falls, avalanches, lava flows, and mud flows. 
another preparation is to prepare for evacuation if warning for imminent volcanic eruption or mud flows is raised. Another preparation before a volcanic eruption is to know the ways of protecting the school from the ash falls, landslide, and debris flows by consulting your local disaster coordinating council. Another preparation is to consult respective disaster rest reduction and management council on the establishment of the community counter disaster response plans. Another preparation before a volcanic eruption is to know the delineated areas vulnerable to volcanic hazards and assess your rest for dangers. Another preparation is to appreciate and take advantage of the importance of management of human settlements based on land use planning which consider volcanic hazards. What to do during a volcanic eruption? So the first one is to stay alert and awake and follow instructions that go with the warning. If there is a directive to evacuate, do so immediately. Another thing to do during a volcanic eruption is to advise the students to protect their heads and get away from the area right away if caught in a small rock fall. Another thing to do during a volcanic eruption is to give priority for evacuation outside the area of ash shower to students with breathing problems. They should be advised to cover their nose, preferably with a wet piece of cloth. Another thing to do during a volcanic eruption is to wear long sleeve shirts and long pants and wear goggles and eyeglasses instead of contact lenses. What to do after a volcanic eruption? So first is to clear the canals and pathways of ash and other debris. Another thing to do after a volcanic eruption is to stay away from the slide area. There may be danger of additional slides. Another thing to do after a volcanic eruption is to listen to the local radio or television stations for the latest emergency information. Another thing to do after a volcanic eruption is to report broken utility lines and suspected damaged buildings to appropriate authorities. Another thing to do after a volcanic eruption, if you have respiratory ailment, avoid contact with ash. Stay indoors until local health officials advise it is safe to go outside. Volcanic ash can cause great damage to passages and the respiratory system. Since we are done on the discussion part, so now let us proceed to the assessment part. So for the direction, all you have to do is to read each item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer.
That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.